we've got presents from Italy. So let's see what we have in here. I do like, ooh, a box within a box. Ooh. Ooh, 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 look what you have one. All right, we'll get rid of the other box so it's just not in the road. Now, let's see. Sealed. Observant of you will have worked out what his this is now, won't you? Look at that. So here we have um, a complete in its entirety uh, variator. Uh, because mine was knackered. Uh, special grease, lithium and molybdenum disulfide addicted. Now that's the outer bit, and that's the inner bit, and that is in absolutely lovely condition. Seal. So basically uh, that goes in and out like this. Um, the rollers go in here. So when this spins the rollers move out and there's a plate here which pushes the whole thing uh, in and out. Um, so that's chuffing lovely. That's really nicely wrapped. So um, basically that's the last part that I need. Everything else I've got. Um, uh, my other variator is down there. Down underneath the uh, table. Uh, I'm hoping there's a... Well there should be a spring in there because... Uh, I didn't throw it out. I have a brand new clutch over there. Uh, the belt there. So I've got the absolute entire uh, final drive or belt drive assembly. So we're good to go. Um, uh, we'll just put that away like that. And what we'll do is So there's the actual clutch, and that can go over there like that, out of the road. Now, what we need to do today, uh, if I bring this over, sorry, this was very much, uh, I just put this blue paper on top of it to keep the dirt and dust out of it. Uh, this uh, needs the sealant, re, uh, new sealant applied, which is in my pocket to keep it warm. That's that stuff. Oh, wrong way around. Uh, that's this stuff. Uh, basically put a 2mm bead all the way around this and around the bolt holes apparently. And also around the uh, fixing studs, obviously. So we put the uh, two mil bead all the way around that. We put that on immediately, but you only put it on hand. You only put the bolt in hand tight, 
leave it for an hour. I might leave it for an hour and a 10 minutes because it's quite cold and then torque it up. Uh, so there's an actual sequence for doing things. So I'm going to get on and uh, put the silicone on. Uh, well, no, I'm not. I'm going to clean the, the face with uh, brake cleaner, which is over there somewhere. And also clean the face of um, the other half of the drive. Um, and uh, yeah, that's going to be terribly exciting. So, let me go and get ready. I'll move this back into the middle for you. There we go. See, you can see the engine number there. You could steal my engine. Uh, but Honda SH300i seem to be relatively rare in the UK. So, you might, you know, and there's also loads of engines on eBay. So, there you go. Right, now, let's get cardboard out of the road. So, let's try and get around this in a reasonable manner. going away from me is actually easier. Right, that wasn't terrible. So now I'm just going to need to go around the screw holes. And, Okay, that's it, folks. Now it goes on the bike. Of course, this is going to look horrible. You wouldn't like that stuck to your face, would you? 
think what it'll do is it'll put the pegs in as well. Just for completeness, you understand. Bugger, don't, don't cheat. There we go. Oh, there's always one. Right, that's it. I basically have to leave that for an hour. And uh, do a final torque up of that. Uh, so, happy days. We're all back together. Things going back on. Always good. So this little bolt here came out of the um, cable protector for, uh, it's actually for uh, the speed sensor and the ABS sensor and uh, it went through here like so and into the swinging arm and the head of it is completely bang jaxed. So what I had to do, I actually had to use a screw extractor to get it out, which worked surprisingly. So what I'm going to do is basically get an ordinary M6, uh, screw a couple of nuts up the shank, nip them up and lock them up together, and we're going to play with the mini lathe to see if I can turn them down to the, the same diameter as that, which actually doesn't need a lot. It just needs the, the corners nipped off the um, nuts, because if we screw this M6 on here, if it'll go, there we go. You can see there it's a tiny amount that needs to come off so we've nothing to lose let's give it a go 
This wee thing was about 20 quid from China. I've never actually used it in anger. Uh, so this will be quite interesting. <laughs> And that has actually, I don't know if you can see here, I haven't actually gone down all the way down the shank of the inner, or the, um, the inner bolt there, or inner nut there, because I need to move this side slightly because uh, it's too close to the chuck, but it's working. Give me a second. There we go. Uh, that's literally all that needs to come off that. Uh, and that has actually worked perfectly. Those wee corners nipped off beautifully. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So, if you look down, where's my old one? There it is there. There's the old one. And there's the new one. And that's that's perfect. Absolutely perfect. I'm chuffed to bits. Gosh, things are going well today. 
Somebody asked me what the final drive ratio on this was and I haven't been able to find out. Uh, so we'll find out, will we? Uh, I don't know if you can see, there's a cable tie on here. There. So that's vertical at the moment. I've got a spanner on that. Move back so you can see both. And we'll see how many turns we get. So there's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I'd say eight and a half. So there you go. Now we all know the world can carry on. Uh, sorry about the lights uh, behind me there. I put my hand up. So let's see, I put that hand there. What's that hand? No, this hand. No. There we go. You now you can't see the light. Um, sorry about the light. Uh, I'm about to torque up the uh, final drive case, and that will be us for this episode. Um, I'm trying to keep them shorter now because the other one was far too fucking long. And it took me nearly as long editing it down. So I'm going to torque this up. Uh, and that will be that. Uh, so let me move the camera around to there. And uh, we'll see you in a mo. There you go. Uh, of the torque wrench already set at uh, 24 Newton meters. Just a handy tip. Right. You see Halfords Pro range tools, they're fucking superb and they're also guaranteed for life. So if anything goes wrong with them, it gets replaced. I'm not paid by Halfords, I'm saying that because they're good tools. Right, let's go. Click. 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 Two click. Three click. Four click. Five click. Six click. Seven click. Final drive done. And uh, while I was waiting for that uh, sealant to go off, I just refitted this wee wiring protector and put the speed sensor back in. Uh, so, uh, next thing to do, I need to get all the uh, plenum chamber and air filter box back in because I need to get everything built up again before I put the wheel on because they have to go in first. Uh, then we can. Uh, once that is, is all done and the wheels back on, then I can do uh, the clutch, put the belt on that pulley, uh, variator, put the belt on that, fill it with oil and start it up to make sure everything does what it should. So that's us for now. Bye.